George Western Foods is one of Australia and New Zealand's largest food manufacturers, employing around 8,000 employees in close to 60 sites. With a proud history of growth fueled by both acquisition and an entrepreneurial spirit, George Western Foods produce some of Australia and New Zealand's best love brands. Iconic brands such as Don Small Goods, KR Castle Main, Sunblessed, Golden, Top Taste, Bergen, and brands such as Bazaar Breads of the World are all part of the George Western Foods business. Today we take a look inside George Western Foods Castle Main operations, where there are 16 ABB palletising robots working to serve 32 packaging lines, making it Australia's largest palletising system. So the palletising line collects over 450 different products at a rate of up to 9,000 cartons per hour bringing those in from four different packing areas, uh, 27 lines with over a kilometre of conveyor, bringing them into the palletising cell, which has 16 robots serving 32 pallet stations with another robot up the front preparing the pallets and then the two rail systems with four shuttles taking the finished pallets down to two stretch wrappers, outputting over 100 pallets per hour and feeding them to the AGVs. So the GWF Castlemaine site produces a range of small goods um, that are supplied to consumers through the retail food service and small distributor network. The factory is separated into four key plants. We've got ham, bacon, salami and continental small goods and each of those plants is serviced by a shared palletizer and distribution um, service. So the problems we were experiencing before the robots were the manual handling, the oh &S issues, um, the downtime of, of not getting the product out fast enough, um, the loss and the labour costs. Also we were having challenges through the retailers with making sure that the consistency and quality of our pallets was what they required for their now automated networks. Um, and like everyone else we had increasing labour costs um, and had some concerns about our ability to meet the productivity targets that we needed to to remain competitive. There is definitely a trend in the marketplace to move to more shelf ready, smaller pack sizes and obviously that increases the repetitiveness of the tasks that the team here needed to do, um, therefore increasing our oh and risk which is probably the main risk that we have on site. I think the defining factor was um, knowing that we could eliminate a lot of manual handling, um, remove a fair bit of the labour cost due to the the um, manual handling. I guess the ability to manage the speed and volume that was coming out of four facilities coming into a central distribution space was definitely a factor but also the, the footprint that we were had available to us at the time. Our installation was largely a greenfield installation however um, we have seen obviously a huge improvement in the oh and injuries associated with palletising because we've largely eliminated that task. The other things that we've had is we, the rejection levels that we would get from customers with regard to our pallets and how they were presented to them has, has obviously improved significantly. And finally, um, we've definitely managed to deal with the volume that is now being processed out of this facility as, as each of the facilities have come online. Yeah, we chose the IRB 4600 robot. Um, while we looked at the palletizers, the orientation and positioning of the cartons needed the sixth axis so while the palletizers offered higher speed we needed the extra dexterity of the six axis robot um, to be sure that we'd be able to handle all of the palletizing tasks of, uh, from the conveyors coming in. The configuration of the line was chosen based on the rates coming in to, on individual lines so each robot's able to look after two lines and maintain the rates on those two lines so that really dictated the configuration of the line with the 16 robots serving the 32 pallet stations. We're very happy with the way the project's worked out. It's Australia's largest robotic palletising system. It's working to specification. The customer's very happy. And um, it's a great looking facility being built from Greenfield allowed us to really make a world-class facility up there. So we're, we're very proud and very happy of the installation.